Hello everyone and welcome back. This is just a quick update video because I was re-watching my videos on arrays and realized that I forgot a very important topic. And that is the fact that arrays are referential. I mentioned that and kind of talked about it briefly, but I didn't really go in depth into it and I left out one of the most important things, so I'm going to talk about that real quick. Whenever you have an array and you copy that array to another variable, it doesn't actually make a copy. It simply sets two variables that are pointing to the same data. And if you change the data in one, it changes the data in the other. Let me give you an example. const x equals an array that says one, two, three. So x is an array right there. So let's set const y equal to x. So now I have both x and y that have the same data. Now you would think that if I go x0 equals 5 that it would work, and it does. 5, 2, 3. But the problem is if I call y, y has also been updated. This can be a problem if you're not familiar with how arrays work and you try to make a copy of an array and use it for something else and then you find out that you've got all these bugs and you can't figure out why in the world your data is being updated when you don't want it to be. There is a workaround. There's actually two workarounds, depending on what you're trying to do. The first workaround is if your array is not nested. In other words, if your array just has um, one level of data, you don't have nested arrays or nested objects inside of there. And that's to use the spread operator. We're not really going to talk about the spread operator other than this video. It is a cool little feature that came out on ES6, and it's nice but it's not necessary and we're already packing so much into this course that I'm not going to use a lot of time on the, on the spread operator. But if you're interested in JavaScript, go look it up. It's really cool. The way that it works is it's just three dots. So if we wanted to make a copy, so let's const z equals, we would put our array syntax there, do dot, 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 x. What this does is this spreads out all the values of x and treats them as if they were just the values, not an array of the values. So now if I do z, it is set there. But if I change x0 to hi there, it's hi there in x, it's hi there in y, but it's not hi there in z because whenever you use the spread operator inside of these um, square brackets, it creates a new copy of that array. It copies the actual data not just the array reference. That's something that's very important to understand. So whenever you want to make a copy of an array and set it to a separate va variable, use the spread operator. Now, as I mentioned, this does not do a deep copy. This is a shallow copy. For, in other words, let's, let's take x3 equals another array of a, b. So now when I look at x, there's four items. Hi there, two, three, and then there's another array right here. Let's make a new const um, shallow equals dot 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 x. So we did the same little trick where we use the spread operator. And if I look at shallow, it looks the same. It's got the same data on there and all that kind of stuff. And if I go into x and change update the value, equals it was high there, so let's just put some random stuff. So it's that way in x. And if I look in shallow, it did not update. However, if I go into X and update that array, update a value inside that array, because X3 is an array, and then let's take the first one and change it to, dang it. And now I look at shallow, my array has been changed. So that's one important thing to keep in mind with the spread operator. Only use it if your data is shallow. It's only one layer deep because if you use it for anything deeper than that, it creates a referential link to this, any nested arrays or objects. To get around this, the easiest way to do it is to simply use Lodash. Lodash has a deep copy function. Again, we're not getting into Lodash, or it's, it's not something that you have to know, but um, if you want to, Lodash deep copy, or clone, I think they, I think they call it. Look for deep. We want, let's see, clone deep. Yeah, that's what they call it. Clone deep. It recursively clones the value. So that's how you would use it. You would import Lodash and then use the clone deep method on Lodash, and that would work for you. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.